Hi, Tim Unkert here, and in this video, we're going to install the latest stable version of NeoVim, and we're going to do it using the app image. The steps we're going to follow is we're going to install the dependencies, that's step one. We're going to download the NeoVim app image. We're going to copy the NeoVim app image to Linux files. We're going to move the NeoVim app image to just NeoVim. We're going to make it executable. We're going to change the ownership to root, and then we're going to move it to a place where we can open it from anywhere. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to create a split here, and let's make this bigger. Okay, and let me just go to my root here, and I'm going to look for NeoBim. Okay, so I'm going to go to their homepage here and click install now. I'm going to scroll on down until I find Linux and then app image. All we have to do is download the app image, so we're not really even installing it. I'm going to go to the latest stable version, which is at the time of this recording, NeoVim 0.5.1. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go down here to this and download this neovim.app image. That's going to download. I'll click Show in Folder. I'm doing this on a Chromebook. We're going to copy this into the Linux files, paste it in. Okay, it's copied in. Close that out. All right, let's list out my files. You see I have folders, uh, but I also have this uh, neovim.app image. I'm going to move that to just nvim, okay? Now if I list out my files, you'll see it's named nvim. All right, that way I don't have to type nvim.app image, okay, each time I want to open it. All right. Um, now what I'm going to do is make it executable with chmod plus x nvim. Now what I'm going to do is change ownership with sudo chown root colon root space nvim. Okay, I'll hit enter. And then I'm going to move it to user slash bin. Okay, let's clear this out, and let me type in nvim for NeoVim, and you'll see it opens right up. If I uh, make this a little smaller, let's quit out of here, and reopen it again, you'll see that we get the, the welcome message there. Uh, the reason why you weren't seeing that is because I had the font so large initially. But now we've got NeoVim ready to go. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. It really does help the channel grow. And you can also follow my social links in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.